Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Langhorse Field here on campus at Elmhurst College. I'm Nate Stein alongside Rusty Lindsay. You're watching Blue Jay TV, CCIW football matchup here between the Elmhurst Blue Jays and the Illinois Wesleyan Titans. The Titans 7-1 and one on the season, that one loss coming in conference. The Blue Jays 2-5, two 2-3 and five, two and three in CCIW play, and the Blue Jays have a chance to play a little bit of a spoiler role today. Yeah, this is an Illinois Wesleyan team that's really had it rolling probably for their last four games. They're coming off a very hard fought win over Carthage last week in, in a game that can best be uh, best be described as, as old school slobber knocker football. Those two defenses just really beat the tar out of each other. Elmhurst, or excuse me, Illinois Wesleyan coming up with four key stops on fourth down, three of them on fourth and two or shorter. In, in their own territory. So that was, that was a, the Illinois Wesleyan defense has this thing rolling. They're a team that, that ever since that win at Wheaton has been playing some pretty exceptional football and, and is going to come in with a, with a defense that's going to probably look to dominate the line of scrimmage and an offense that's going to look to just put up enough. This is not necessarily a high-flying Illinois Wesleyan offense. I think the Titan fans would probably say that's, that's been an underachieving group for them. This is an Elmer's team that's played Illinois Wesleyan extremely tough the last couple of years, a 13-10 win for the Titans over the Blue Jays on a late field goal down in Bloomington last year. This is an Elmhurst defense that plays Blake plays Bailey well when, the, the when they can really confuse the, an offense, and that's, I think, what they have a chance to do here today. Yeah, and Russell, you mentioned the close games between these two teams in the past couple years. This one today with the makings of pretty much the same exact story. The Titans offense just averaging 22 points per game and as you mentioned the Elmhurst defense at its best when it can come out and confuse the offense a little bit. Yeah this is going to be a test for Elmhurst's defense just because Morgan Alexander might be the best running back in the conference. I mean you're talking about a guy who's out gaining I believe Austin Brunig and at North Central and Cholo Latejo at Wheaton. He's averaging over four yards a carry just shy of 100 yards a game that's only because Carthage held him under under last week so I think you're going to expect a heavy dose of number 26 today Brandon Bowers a dual threat quarterback very similar to Orlando Hernandez in his athleticism he's a more accurate passer completing 57 percent of his passes but look for Illinois Wesleyan to establish the run early today and right away you see Bauer out of the gun sends it out into the flat on the right side bobbled and hung on to that's number 15 for the Titans Mono with the tackle yeah, that's, that's Dean Zagulich, who's really been coming on recently for the Titans. And, and again, when, when Illinois Wesleyan can open up their run game with the pass, that's actually going to afford them more opportunities. Uh, that time, just trying to hit those quick outs. And Elmhurst will bring pressure. Elmhurst will bring pressure off the edges quite a bit, so that's going to be an opening for Illinois Wesleyan. Bauer with the give to Alexander, off tackle to the Alexander right. Lebonker. He will pick up a couple, and the Titans staying ahead of the chains will have a third and short. Yeah, this is going to be this is going to be big for Elmhurst if they can establish a punch early and, and really slow this thing down. It's a cold day; it doesn't look like the wind's going to play much of a factor. Third and three here. You're playing at home. Give yourself the big momentum boost by getting off the field on a three and out. It will be Bauer out of the gun. Alexander on his left hip. The give to Alexander, stretching out to the right. He's got room, first down and a little bit more down Alexander and will be just shy of the 40-yard line. Yeah. They'll give him the 40. This is, this is going to come back. You're going to have a hold against Illinois Wesleyan here on the – actually, no, that's – I think you've got somebody – you've got an illegal formation there. Even though Illinois Wesleyan seems to be the one clapping now, so this might be lined up in the neutral zone Offside. by Elmhurst. It is. And then you saw Norm Ash over on the far sideline waving his team ahead, waving the chains ahead. So yeah. the Titans will get that first down. That's, that's Ogbebor just lined up too close to the ball. That's inexcusable for a corner to, to be. I mean, granted, it doesn't, it doesn't play a role because of the run, but that's just inexcusable for a corner to get called for that penalty. First and 10 for the Titans on the Elmhurst 40. Bauer takes the snap, fakes the give to Alexander, rolls out left into the flat for Ziglic. Yeah, and that one out of his reach, second yeah, and ten. And clearly, clearly, you're seeing an Illinois Wesleyan wanting to get the ball into to their playmakers, into the flats here, and take advantage of that. But that's that's a tough throw for a quarterback to make. Bowers got to realize he has time there. He can set his feet better and deliver a ball into the into the flat that gives the Gulich a chance to make a play after the catch, not just make the catch. Yeah, Elmhurst, not in their base defense right now. You usually see them in a three-four or four on the line for this second and long. Bauer takes the snap, fakes the give to Alexander, quick out to the right side. That's out to 81, Zach Walsh, the sophomore the receiver out of Lombard, Illinois. 
Yeah, and again, Illinois Wesleyan using the, the threat of the run game to open up the pass game here. That's play action on back-to-back -back plays. A lot of times when you see them line up the tight end in the backfield, they're going to set that up as a power run. And so they're using that offensive set to then get the ball into the flat quickly. That time the corner just gave Walsh way too much space. That's an easy pitch and catch for Bauer. So Alexander joining Bauer in the backfield once again, going in motion, Anthony Ryan to the right side. Fakes the give to Alexander. Bauer looking downfield, has a man open, and that's a touchdown. Jack Healy getting the Titans on the board. That's just a well-run route by Healy. Just cuts that thing, un Healy undercuts the, the safety. That's the important the thing. When you run into deep post, you've got to make sure you get underneath the safety on the cut. He does. It's well protected. Bauer had all day there. And he, and he was really staring down his target the whole time. The safety just didn't come up to make the play on the ball. That's a very effective opening drive for Illinois Wesleyan. Yeah, and Rusty, as we talked about at the beginning of the broadcast for a Titans offense that's looking to do just enough to keep them in this game. That's a spectacular start. Brandon Bauer leading the team down the field, capping it off with about a 20-yard touchdown pass to Jack Healy. Yeah, anytime you're on the road and you can take the opening drive and get points out of it, that's a win. But to do so in that fashion for Illinois Wesleyan, Extra point is up and good. Skiarini adds the extra point there. That, that, that's going to be a, a, that's a big jump for Illinois Wesleyan because their defense is so good. If you can just it, give their defense the lead to protect before they ever get to the field, I mean, I, I think that's, that's absolutely following the script for Illinois Wesleyan. So we'll get our first look at the Elmhurst offense after this kickoff, but Amanda Watch, the returner, Juwan Gaines, 2016 first team all conference in the return game a very dangerous player when he's taking these kickoffs yeah this is going to be the key, this is going to be key for illinois wesleyan is, is they're going to have to control the, the return game for elmhurst with juan Gaines because he's an explosive playmaker when he gets the ball in his hands and the, the way elmhurst sets up their return is to make sure that he does so elmhurst is going to have to really be accurate with their coverage here because they are they're always going to show this little onside look you get that from Patrick Tata, who does the, the kicking Tata, for the, the Titans. The and as we see gains back deep, remember last season, the, when Elmhurst started to come back before Illinois Wesleyan ultimately took the, the game late in the second half, Gaines was the one who sparked Gaines that comeback the with the kickoff return for a touchdown. Gaines out to the left side, breaks a few tackles, will get across the 30 and be pushed out of bounds at the 31-yard line.